obviously at the end of the period. Hello um, YouTube. What's um, up? I, the one reason why I want to borrow on. more, just mm -hmm. for about the 20,000, is so I don't have to sell part of my equity ISAs because I want to maintain those. Yeah. So I'm going to, I want to keep these long term anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I can use to redeem part of the mortgage at the end of the mortgage uh, period. And also I want a, uh, an interest only, um, but with the facility to overpay so I can reduce that debt anyway. So there's three uh, ways I can uh, reduce that. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. Thousand uh, mortgage, if it'd be on a repayment, it wouldn't be much anyway, would it? Because it's a relatively small mortgage, um, so that'd be um, relatively small monthly payment, even with the added capital repayment on it. A bit of this, yeah, time period, then. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. The idea is I want to use up, um, I can afford to pay off, um, pay in to the maximum, which is 11,200 last tax year. So, yeah, the idea is to pay off my maximum of about, was it 9,000 is 12, yeah, yeah, about 900 to 1,000. Um, Um, about sixty-seven and a half thousand. Right. The reason I'm asking that is I'm just saying that the interest on your If you keep those stocks in the shares for the next, you know, eleven years, you're going to be paying nine hundred and fifty pounds a month and that provider. So um without any interest being applied, um I'd be a hundred Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 